Annapolis community came together at Lucas Oil Stadium tonight to honor the lives lost and injured Hoosiers from the FedEx shooting on April 15th. Our Nikki Dementri was there and she shares with us tonight the remembrance event through the eyes of one of the victims families there tonight. She's not a statistic and that's why I'm here. She was the matriarch of the family, the mother hen wherever she went. She was the glue that kept everybody together. She was the most selfless person and people only have amazing things to say about her. Amarji Joel loved to cook and care for her family who all lived in the same neighborhood on Indy's South Side. I kid you not, not one person has ever said anything negative about her and She's six, she was 66 years old. To live 66 years of your life and only spread positivity, to spread happiness, to spread joy, we all need to learn from that. Her granddaughter, Como Shehan, says Saturday she came to honor her grandmother and the seven other lives taken so abruptly two weeks ago as they worked at FedEx. You watch on the news that a mass shooting happened and you're like, wow, I really hurt for that person, but it's completely different when you're in the situation and when you don't have answers, right? We don't have any answers at all. Several long Makers, faith leaders, and community activists calling for changes to gun control. Others speaking out to ensure a complete and full investigation and all remembering each of those eight lives lost. Bless your loved ones who are gone, but not forgotten. Sincerely, Joe Biden. Families, leaders, and neighbors in the stands alongside Shehan, wearing blue and yellow as a show of support for the Sikh community. Strength in numbers, right? If we don't come together, we won't be able to demand change, and that's exactly what we need. Shehan's demand for change echoed throughout the afternoon. But we must reform our laws. Shehan Singh came from Virginia to lead the remembrance event. He says he knows one of the injured. The Sikh holy book starts with uh, the word ek oankar, and that really means uh, oneness. Um, it is the belief in one God. So we want to send a message of oneness. We are one family, one humanity, one community, one nation under God. And as the weeks and days continue, Shehan and so many others want the community to not soon forget the eight lives lost. The best thing that we can do, like I said, is to come together and to build programs, educational programs, and make sure that we have the resources for people when stuff like this happens. Working for you, Nikki DeVentry, WRTV. All right, thanks, Nikki, for that update. At the end of the event, tribute books were presented to the families of the victims in attendance, and it was noted that books will be hand-delivered to the families absent today.